Yo guys, what is up? It is Nick. Today we have the new Team Hero sets. I started throwing guys in there, and it is time for the October Man of the Month, which is Julio Jones. Uh, you need 50 Man of the Month collectibles, which means you need, uh, if you want to, it means you need the 32, I'll just break it down in the simplest way. You just need the 32 Team uh, Hero sets done, and then 18 more repeated after that. I already had one repeated from month one, so I was able to throw that into the Julio Jones set, so we're one out of 50. Uh, I'm not too worried about finishing these in a timely matter. Um, I'm not playing like a ton right now, and with the auction house screwed up as it is with the search, I'm not too into trying to do this because I can't even do it to search like this. And every time you collect a card, it screws up the auction house again. But I have been taking some notes. Uh, I am through the Colts. And so at this moment, I need two silver bears, two bronze broncos, five silver browns, four silver bucks, uh, five gold cardinals, six silver cardinals, three silver chargers, one bronze charger, five gold chiefs, and four silver colts. Um... I'm probably going to get off for the day. I've got uh, some DraftKings stuff I need to take care of with setting up my lineups and all of that different stuff for today and all of that stuff. But let's go ahead and go through all these players. So we have the October Man of the Month, obviously, the Tulio Jones is the 93 overall. And the reason I'm not really too worried about finishing this in a timely matter is because I'm just going to keep the Julio Jones anyway. Uh, because with Michael Vick retired, probably Julio is my second favorite player, or my first, is, is my favorite player now. Uh, so I'm just going to go ahead and hold on to this Julio anyway. So I don't really see the big deal of me finishing this because I don't need the coins. And then none of these are auctionable like always. So I don't need to finish them to get peak price for them. Uh, but... Let's go through these players real quick, and then we'll call it an episode. So first, we've got Jay Cutler for the Bears. have no idea why he got the Team Hero card. For one, he's injured. And for two, he really hasn't played that well. Uh, next is Jeremy Hill. He's been playing pretty well, so that's all right. Uh, Cordy Glenn for the Bills. Trevor Simeon for the Broncos. Uh, Demario Davis for the Browns. Kind of wish we would have gotten Terrell Pryor for the Browns. Uh, Brent Grimes for the Bucks, Michael Floyd for the Cardinals, which I don't get at all because he's him and John Brown have been pretty bad this year. Uh, they have John Brown's been a lot worse, but they both have been pretty bad. It's been all Larry Fitzgerald really. Uh, Brandon Meebane for the Chargers probably should have gotten Jason Verrett, uh, Jay Howard for the Chiefs, Colts Jack Muhort, uh, Jason Witten for the Cowboys. I know they can't give us Dak. So, and they probably couldn't give us Ezekiel Elliott because it wouldn't make any sense. So, Jason Witten probably one of the better choices I get. Maybe Cole Beasley would have been a better choice because Dak Prescott now is looking to him a lot. Especially this week with Dez out. Uh, Koamisi for the Dolphins. Maybe would have liked to see Jarvis Landry. But Koamisi fine. Eagles Jordan Matthews. Maybe Carson Wentz was the better choice or someone on that defense, but Jordan Matthews has been pretty good. Uh, Falcons, Kamal Ishmael, that's fine. Maybe maybe Tevin Coleman I would have gone with over Ishmael, but there are some guys on that defense too I may have gone over. But 49ers, Jimmy Ward, uh, Giants, Janoris Jenkins. I'm fine with a lot of these. Jaguars, TJ Yeldon, who played really well. With uh, no Chris Ivory. Uh, Jets, Eric Decker. Probably wouldn't have gone Eric Decker because he's hurt. Michael Burton for the Lions. There's our fullback for the month. Brian Balaga for the Packers. There we go. Thomas Davis for the Panthers. Kind of happy about that. Jabal Shear for the Patriots. That's nice. Personally, in my own selfish reasons, I wish I could have gotten a joke. Jacoby Brissett. Actually, I hope Jacoby Brissett just tears up the Bills today so I can get a team of the week, Jacoby Brissett. But. That's not going to happen, so I'll take the Jabal Sheard. Rodney Hudson for the Raiders. Michael Brockers for the Rams. Dennis Pitta, nice pick for the Ravens. D'Angelo Hall, I'm personally happy because I really like D'Angelo Hall as a player, so I'm happy about this. Uh, for the Redskins, actually probably could have gone to Sean Jackson. He's had two really good games so far. 
Uh, Kenny Vaccaro for the Saints. Can you really put someone from the Saints defense as their team hero? I feel like that's just that's just not right. Jermaine Curse for the Seahawks. Probably could have been the opportunity to give Jimmy Graham a new card because he just had that really good game. Now he wasn't very good the first two weeks, but he did have the good week. I feel like that. I feel like this was the time to give Jimmy Graham a card. If you're gonna give him a card here, I feel like this was the time. Uh, David DeCastro for this two, because in that Seahawks offense, I don't think he's ever gonna have a performance huge enough to get him a team of the week card. So. This is probably your chance. Probably one of these team heroes is the best chance to get a new Jimmy Graham card. Uh, David DeCastro for the Steelers. I kind of wish Eli Rogers would have kept it up. We probably would have gotten Eli Rogers if he wouldn't have. He kind of fell off after week one a little bit. Uh, Jonathan Joseph for the Texans. Uh, Avery Williamson for the Titans. Kind of wish we could have gotten a DeMarco Murray. But we do have that 89 DeMarco Murray. Never mind. Uh, Daniel Hunter for the Vikings. You should put, like, anybody from the Vikings defense. Uh, and then they left in the launch man of the month, so you can still do the uh, Von Miller. I'm not sure why I'd want to, because Julio's going to have so much more value. But all in all, I'm actually pretty happy with these. Uh, we'll do an obvious team update when I finish all of these, but I'm going to pretty much take my time to finish these up until once they finish, fix the auction house, I will for sure at least finish up all 32 teams, and then I'll need to redo 17 uh, so I'll see about that. But guys, that's going to do it for this episode. I hope you all enjoyed. Uh, drop a like if you did. Subscribe if you haven't. Let me know um, if you're, t you're going to be waiting or if there's any players that you thought should get the Team of the Heroes over this. I don't know if these are like preset Team of the Heroes or if they're just random Team of the Heroes. They're like, oh, oh you know what, Bears, let's give Jay Cutler a card. I don't know if they did that or if they're actually like thinking like this is the Team Hero for the month of September. That would make sense. And then... Julio doesn't make any sense either. I love Julio, but I feel like someone like like Marvin Jones could have been Man of the Month. Um, Matt Ryan probably deserved it more than Julio. Like I don't know if these are preset Man of the Months or if they're Man of the Months based on the month they just had. Uh, I should probably find that out. But if it's based on the month they just had, some of these players don't make any sense. Uh, and Julio really doesn't make any sense for Man of the Month. But if they're just preset, which is a little lazy on EA's part, then I guess all of these players are fine. But guys, that's going to do it. I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll catch you all in my next video. Peace out.